Hey everybody, uh, welcome. I just wanted to send out a little video uh, extra here for our supporters and prayer people uh, for Thrive. I'm so very grateful for your help uh, in doing what we've done uh, in Tanzania last month. And I think that uh, you probably got a, a newsletter talking about what happened with us, me and Derek and the team uh, a couple of weeks ago, but I just wanted to go a little bit deeper with you. Um, and just uh, tell you a little extra, uh, maybe show extra video clips. Drinking coffee this morning from T Tanzania, from the Kilimanjaro area, and uh, good coffee. And yes, I did do a couple of coffee with Marks uh, while I was there, and uh, those should be coming out uh, after we produce them, and um, they'll be coming out in season two, which should debut not too dear distant future, hopefully. So as you know, I, I got there early in Tanzania. I felt like the Lord was calling me to do a little bit of a prayer retreat. And so I was there for four or five days by myself and uh, just seeking the Lord about you know, my own emotional state and about, um, about how to lead my kids and, and how to go forward with Thrive Ministries and uh, what was it look like between Thrive and TCC going forward into the new year. So that uh, was fantastic because the Lord really was faithful to speak to me in those days. And this, then uh, Derek came, he was with me for about five days before the, um, the team came. So we were in a couple of uh, little towns doing some uh, pastors and leaders training. And this is one, this is in the, the village of uh, Marangu, which is near uh, Kilimanjaro. You can see us up in the corner there. I'm in red and Derek is in, in purple because they gave us these robes. They're kind of uh, little robes like the, the Maasai people wear. That was, that was a little way that they gave us a gift and honored us. Uh, this is uh, only part of the pastors and leaders there. There were about 40, a little over 40 that were there um, at, with their wives. And so that was um, that was a blessing because we got to build upon something I did a couple of years ago there in the same region with the same people. So we're building relationships and we're, we're kind of pouring into them and it's a long-term vision. And they're super sweet people. And um, then we went to another place which was called uh, Mwanga. I'll show you the, the group that we were with there, Mwanga is nearer to the Maasai region. This is a more arid, uh, uh, kind of more barren place. Uh, Kilimanjaro had a lot of vegetation, but this place does not. And these people are from all over. They came from many hours away, different directions, some from the mountains, some from the Maasai areas. Um, they traveled for hours and they slept on the, on the concrete church floor because uh, we had a two-day conference there. And it was such a, a blessing to be with them. And they're so hungry, so hungry. And so uh, we were able to, to minister specifically about growing in grace and our knowledge and our skills and our uh, character uh, in the power and co-working co together with the Holy Spirit. Derek preached on stewardship, especially of uh, family and of uh, the, you know possessions. And he did a great job. Uh, I had a little video here I want to show you, and uh, this is kind of a pan around of outside this church that we were in in Mwanga, and you can kind of hear in the background uh, the the Muslim, the, the mosque, um, the prayers that are going over the loudspeaker right next door to the church was the mosque, and so sometimes this would happen even while I was teaching, and I'd have to just teach over it, And uh, but you can get an idea of the surroundings here if you see this. Uh, So right there in the midst of everything, in the midst of the Muslims, in the midst of, you know, animism that's going on there uh, is a church, a strong church. And we're able to train some pastors and leaders there. And what a blessing that is 
uh, to be able to do it. They're such precious people. I have a, a little bit of uh, footage here of them singing. I think you might know this song. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they're beautiful man and they are uh man they can sing africans can sing it's amazing they just slide right into harmonies it's amazing i think you probably saw this this is uh my uh my bulletin board or my chalkboard it was uh you can see, maybe you recognize that, that teaching, that diagram there. Uh, maybe you've seen that before, but this is like, <laughs> this is what we had to work with there. Um, so then we went to the Maasai village and worked with in Kiria. Kiria is a um, village we've worked with uh, for a couple of years. Uh, and Goldie Carroll has been there for more than that, quite a few years. This is a church uh building and we are actually helping to build a church building right beside that and also we have helped to dig a well in this community the people who are there in in that community now go to the church to get their water they don't have to go uh, an hour walk to the river and and then back to get dirty water they can come to the church the church is the center uh, of, of activity because it's where they can come and get water such a blessing there we're also helping them purchase some land to be able to, to, to do some agriculture projects and also to be able to train young people to do those kinds of projects so that they have a future and a hope. And one of the things that we're doing, this is our, um, this is the pastor there, Pastor Matthias and his wife. Um, and we are working together with them. And one of the things that we're doing is uh, we are partnering together with her because she is working together with the the um the Maasai ladies who are coming to Christ and she is um helping to disciple them so we're helping to supplement her income so she doesn't have to do her extra jobs of uh milking cows for other people and all kinds of things like that that she can be freed up to be able to um to uh, spend time with these uh, Christian ladies and young Christians who are coming to Christ in that village and and do the spiritual mothering and this is part of the Melissa movement um, fund we're giving um, her supplementing income uh, monthly for the next year at least uh, to be able to spend time spiritually mothering these new converts to Jesus and so what a blessing that is um, so maybe a couple of things that would be of interest to you uh, this is uh, the church service, and this is some Swahili worship here. I'm not sure what they're saying. I know Buana means Lord. Iwe, Iwe can mean yes. Uh, Iwe way maybe it means a, a response to the Lord, you know, saying yes, you, O Lord, or yes to you, Lord, something like that. Also, one more thing here, a little um, Maasai choir who at this special service that did some, uh, uh, it's a choir, and it's sort of like, of course, they move. Anytime they sing, they move, and so... Uh, you just had to check it out.
So it was uh, a joy to be with them, worshiping the Lord out of their traditionalism, out of their animism, out of, in some cases, Islam, and finding Jesus right there. Uh, we did a conference there, a women's conference, that also some men attended, uh, teaching through the book of Galatians. And uh, by the way, all, all of those uh, girls that were singing there are, are young, but also they're already spoken for, already married. They would have had these little keys around their neck because they had been bought uh, for marriage when they were very young. And so it is a very oppressive society or culture from, for, for a woman. We're um, working with the, the people there, the pastor and his wife, to be able to bring the light of the gospel there and it's working and you are a big part of that and this is just a, a thank you for you uh and your prayers uh we they, they just carry us they they are really what gives us the strength and gives us um the power we feel day by day as we're on these trips and then also um the giving that that you guys have been giving so generously uh there's good things that are going on in good places among good people and people are coming to Christ and leaders are being trained. So thank you so much for your help. Uh, we'll be going out to Poland and Bulgaria in November. I'll send out a newsletter before I go and I'll send uh, another video when I get back. Love you guys so much. God bless.